I'm Heidi Hewitt here with Felicia Provencial. We're talking about the uh, REM process with raster design. Now, can you, uh, to help clarify the process, can you describe where customers might use this um, REM functionality? Some examples, maybe? Sure, okay. Um, there's plenty of places where you would be using these. For example, if you had an aerial photograph and you wanted to take just a portion of that and use it as an inset or a blow up, you could use those REM tools to select that area and then use your AutoCAD tools to make the blow up and then convert them to their own mini image. Another example that happens a lot is you may have a set of construction documents that are in some kind of a scanned format, like a TIFF format, um, a PCX format, or a JPEG, and you want to use those as a basis for an as-built. And as we all know, as-builts sometimes match the construction documents, but often they don't. There's small changes. So rather than having to go back into the CAD drawings and generate a brand new as-built set, you can use the REM tools to go ahead and edit the scanned um, um, construction document set to go ahead and indicate what changes were made during the construction process, save those back to a TIFF file, go ahead and put those in the archive or put them in your document management system. So there's a lot of different places where you can be using these REM tools right now where you don't have to go through and do a lot of extra work to go ahead and implement these commands. Great. Well, I, I have certainly learned a lot about REM. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I have to check this out. Okay. Thanks, Felicia.